Welcome learners for chemistry lesson today. Your teacher is Martin Bunguswa coming to you live from the UPA Command Center where the ocean of chemistry is found. Today we discuss organic chemistry too where our topic is about alkanoic acids. This is a branch of organic chemistry that um, compounds in the alkanoic acid family, which is a homologous series, have a general formula of CNH2NCOOH, where N can be zero for the first member, one, two, three, four, so on, so forth. Remember for alkenes, the first member of the atomolga series is where N was 1. For alkenes, the homologous series it was where N, the first member was N, is equal to 2. The same for alkanoic for alkynes. For alkanos, the first member was where N is 1. Now, for alkanoic acids, the first member is where N is 0. Now, the COOH is the functional group for alkanoic acids. Now, alkanoic acids are known by their order. They are commonly found in natural substances like oranges, like lemon, like pepper, etc. Like for example, methanoic acid is usually found in nettle plant leaves and some insect stings, such as bees and ants. Ethanoic acid <coughs> is commonly found in vinegar. Butanoic acid is found in beef fat, like butter. Hexa Noic acid is found in some olive oil. Citric acid commonly found in oranges and lemons. Tartaric acid is found in grapes. It's because of the smell of carboxylic acids that, that makes men easily to be tracked by sniffer dogs. It's because of the smell. Just like the alkanes, the alkenes, the alkynes, and the alkanols, there is also the nomenclature rules that are attached to alkanoic acids. Where the first member, as you said, N is zero. If we do the substitution in that formula, C0, H2, zero plus one leaves us with H, with one, C, H, C, O, O, and H. And that compound has a structural formula of, as you can see on the screen, the carbon atom is bonded to an oxygen atom via a double bond on one part of that structure, and that is called methanoic acid. If we move on to the second structure, is where now N is 1. The second member is where N is 1. For alkenes, the second member is where N is 3. So if we put the 1 in the structure, we get C2H4O2. And the structure is as shown on the screen. The same rules follows for propanoic acid and butanoic acid. One common mistake that we make students is you end up confusing between the structure of an alkanoic acid and that one of an ester. Remember for alkanoic acids, the functional group can only be at the end, not in the middle. So if you find the C double bond oxygen and O atoms placed anywhere in between the carbon atoms, then the homologous series to which that compound belongs is the ester and not the carboxylic acid. You can see on our screen clearly the structures. That is how they appear up to butanoic acid. 
which is normally the acid found in Ranzik butter. Just like the other homologous series, we also name alkanoic acids by identifying the longest continuous carbon chain that contains a C or OH group, which determines the parent. Then you number the chain to give the COOH the first position. Regardless of where it is, it should always be numbered from that particular end. Then, other substrate groups may also appear in the carbon chain. They are called the substrate groups. They will be named using the same rules that we applied in the previous uh, homologous series. I want to present to you three examples of how of such compounds and how they can be named. Look at the substance labeled number one. The parent chain has four carbon atoms, and the carbon atoms are numbered from the right-hand side because that is the position where the COOH is placed. And there is a substrate group attached to the second carbon, and it is called a methyl because it has one carbon atom less. And therefore, the correct UPAC name of that particular compound is 2-methylbutanoic acid. Look at the second compound. We are trying also to show you that it is possible to have a substrate group other than an alkyl group. Remember when we discussed about the alkanes and the alkenes, we said that we can have a substrate group from the halogen family and commonly are known as the halides, the halos. For example, if in the second group I have put the Cl on the carbon number three, again the numbering is from the right hand side, so that now the chloro is on the third carbon. But now this compound is called 3 chloropropanoic acid. The last compound there, if you look at the parent chain, it has five carbon atoms, and that is why we refer to it as a pent. But the numbering of the carbon atoms again starts from the right-hand side, because that is where we have the functional group. And there are two methyl groups attached on the third carbon atom, and this compound is called 3,3-dimethylpentanoic acid. We do not... We look at there's also isomerism in these alkanoic acids, but um, it is not very well pronounced because uh, we shall not be talking about a uh, but one oic or a but two oic because the functional group can only be on the first carbon, and that is why we have not put a one oic or a two oic or a three oic, it is simply remains that that is uh, about the naming of the alkanoic acids. And uh, students, this is a book where you get all this information. We encourage you to be using this book. It is called The Top Notch. It is a workbook where you will find in this book there are more other extra examples where you will be involved directly in the writing. And it is highly recommended. It is a book that is being used by even international standard the students in the national schools are also getting an item from this particular book so we encourage you to view all our subscriptions to top notch tv